everyone, my name is Lauren Mia, and I'm so excited to announce that my latest single, Lolo Graziano, is coming out on Injuna Deep. This record is so incredibly special to me. I wrote it to celebrate the life of a beautiful soul that I once knew, to illustrate the colors of her heart and her being through sound. You're in my studio now, so I would really love to show you guys a little bit about my creative process while I was composing the melodic elements that make up this record. So over here you can see the project itself. Typically when I start any record, I like to start with building the low end. In this particular track, I programmed all the drums manually using Impulse, and sometimes I like to use sequencers to build some really random percussive patterns as well, which you can see over here. Over here we have different percussive patterns, and what I do is I color code the parts to represent the different patterns and then over here we start to move into the more the nitty-gritty foundation of the track uh, when it comes to the melodic elements I use my chord mini log which is still one of my favorites even though it was literally my first synth I ever purchased I, I filtered in on the actual synth what I did was I automated one of my favorite VSTs called movement if you don't know it I highly recommend you check it out I automated it halfway into the audio to kind of build a really rhythmic random pattern to the audio itself. So you can see here what I'm talking about. So this line over here represents when I start to automate the actual VST to build this rhythmic pattern into the audio itself. This is what the VST looks like. It's one of my favorites. The static elements that I have are actually one of my favorite textures in the track itself that really gives it just so much oomph. Um, again, with this uh, area of the track, I like to color code also to represent the different types of automation and processing I do here, mainly just reverb and delay. So here you can hear what this sounds like, and this really lays beneath the entire song. And I'd like to move on into the melodic elements and um, how I really composed the melodic progressions in this track. We have about three or four main melodic components that make up the track, which is the pad, the guitar, the, I call it a wine. I don't know, I made this sound, it's a bit weird. And the arpeggio. Um, so if you see here, um, here are the strings that you hear, which I feel is probably my favorite part of the track. <laughs> And here's part two. The strings are the heart of the track, really, and what really gives it that emotional feel, what I was feeling when I was making this track. Following that, I have the guitar lead over here, which starts at the beginning of the track and carries on. I used uh, the electric guitar preset in the instruments of Ableton and did quite a bit of processing on that as well. As you can see here, there's a lot of delay, auto filter, reverb, quite a bit of EQing. With this particular element, I have a lot of different color coatings for which represents different types of composition and variation. So we have the main. And then the drop. favorite other element in this track would be the wine, what I was telling you guys about earlier. I used the Zebra, the VST Zebra, to create this sound. There's lots of automation here, a lot of auto panning on the audio um, and delay as well. And I think it's my favorite weird sound in the track. I will play it for you guys. <laughs> I would say that this track has a lot of weird and unique yet very melodic progressive elements. I'm all about emotions. I feel like my intention was to build a really uplifting energy in this song. Um, 
a colorful, happy song to celebrate the life of a really dear friend of mine. So, I wish I could go through the whole track with you guys, but there's quite a bit to go through, so I really hope you enjoyed taking a small little peek into my process.